Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Nugget of the Day. In today's Nugget 9, we focus on how to approach a nerve during uh, a nerve block or how to approach a fascia plane injection. Let's take the example of median nerve. Here, this nerve can be seen under the flexus distorum superficialis and above the flexus distorum profundus. Now we can see uh, a needle approaching median nerve from its lateral side. Typically, we inject on two different sides of the nerve, either under and above or lateral and medial. Directing uh, the needle towards the uh, lateral side of the median nerve, we give a small test dose and this is seen to be slight intramuscular injection. Trying to go on the other side of the median nerve, we are making sure that the needle doesn't push the nerve directly, but we try and go tangentially to the nerve. We find a very small facial plane between the um, nerve and the muscle and we can see a very nice injection in that particular plane covering one side of the nerve. Going back towards underside of the nerve, the needle is now directed on the lateral and the under surface of the nerve. A small injection is made and the local anesthetic can be seen nicely splitting the muscle and the nerve plane here, in effect encircling it completely. If we see this kind of a donut shape, it is quite likely that the block will work very well. Let's now have a look at a facial plane injection, in this case the tab block. The three muscles, external oblique, internal oblique and transversus abdominis can be easily seen. With a needle coming in from the lateral to medial side and in this case from the left to right, the needle is brought to try and pop through the first fascia which lies between external oblique and medial oblique and the internal oblique and try and pop through the second fascia which lies at the interface of internal oblique and transversus abdominis. Here it can be seen popping through the second fascia. Now a small test injection is made to try and get a facial spread. Once you get a facial spread, you try and uh, centralize the needle in the center of this small facial space that you've created. As you do this, you advance your needle to try and keep it in the center of this local anesthetic spread so that you can get a nice interfacial plane spread and you can avoid an intramuscular spread. Here you can see the transversus abdominis pushing downwards and this is a guarantee that this block will work generally well. So that is it guys. Until next time, adios amigos. And we'll see you with something more exciting.